Hello guys and welcome to all those training to become Super Saiyans. This is Revolution. So on this video we are going to be talking hypothetically about whether Vegeta can attain Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken in the Tournament of Power. Now I'm not just going to be talking about Kaioken exclusively, I'm going to be talking about any techniques similar to the Kaioken as well. As in the dub of Dragon Ball Z, it was claimed that Vegeta had seen techniques like Kaioken before. Despite seeing Ultra Instinct Goku vs Jiren, Vegeta has exclaimed yet again that he's still the strongest Saiyan amongst all the Saiyans in the Tournament of Power. Now whilst this does come across as simply Vegeta's arrogance, it goes in line with a number of claims. I'm sure you remember before the Tournament of Power, as he entered the Room of Spirit and Time, he said that he will beat Goku in the Tournament of Power, despite being fully aware of Goku's ability to use Kaioken stacked on top of Super Saiyan Blue. There are also a portion of the fandom that simply don't understand what the Kaioken does to your abilities, so we'll go over that as well. But just before we delve further into this discussion, I would like to ask anybody new to this channel to please subscribe or anybody that is a returning viewer who enjoys my content to not forget to subscribe. If you are unsure about subscribing to my channel, I ask you to do please check out my library to see a very diverse range of Dragon Ball content that I upload almost daily. If you love talking about Dragon Ball, you will love my channel, I can ensure you of that. So as of right now, of the making of this video, the most recent episode has been episode 117. Vegeta's strongest form that he has exhibited so far, unless he's hiding a certain power, still remains to be Super Saiyan Blue. Now, you could make an argument that in Super Saiyan Blue alone, that he is stronger than Goku in Super Saiyan Blue. Up until the Tournament of Power, what did put Goku above Vegeta was the Kaioken technique, which in the God of Destruction Tournament versus a Legendary Assassin hit, he found a way to use the Kaioken technique in conjunction with Super Saiyan Blue. Goku exclaimed in episode 39, he was allowed to do this because the Super Saiyan Blue offers greater key control than that of the regular golden haired Super Saiyan. The regular Super Saiyan energy flow is a lot more wild and aggressive. In Super Saiyan Blue, it's a lot calmer. While still being dangerous to use in conjunction with Super Saiyan Blue, it would have been absolutely lethal had he used it with regular Super Saiyan. Fortunately, despite a wealth of information being out there on the Kaioken, there are some people in this fandom that still believe Kaioken does not multiply the user's power. Even though they acknowledge it increases the user's power, they do not believe that it multiplies the user's power. Even in Super Saiyan Blue, they do not believe it multiplies the Super Saiyan Blue power by the X number of multiplier they use with the Kaioken. They believe that it kind of adds an extra bar of energy to the user. Depending on the Kaioken multiplier, this energy bar just gets bigger rather than multiplies the user's power. So let's clear this nonsense up once and for all. We first saw Goku use the Kaioken, otherwise known as King Kai Fist, against Appa in the Saiyan Saga. He then went on to extend the multiplier for Kaioken, which is usually a two times multiplier against the man in question in this video, Vegeta. Now these scans are from the Viz translations of the Dragon Ball Z manga. A number of occasions we hear Vegeta exclaiming that Goku's power has multiplied. And then we even hear Goku using terms like threefold, fourfold. The suffix fold refers to multiples. Threefold means multiplied by three. During Goku's fight with Vegeta in the Saiyan Saga, it actually cuts away to Bulma with the Power Scouter. Now we all know the famous line, it's over 9,000. Well, it's actually over 8,000 in the manga. Upon shouting threefold, it cuts to Bulma and you see that Goku's power on the Power Scouter is at 21,000. Now, that's around 2.5 times Goku's 8,000 power level. Power Scouter then breaks, but it breaks as Goku's power is rising. That is because it is eventually going to get to around 24,000. It's in Goku's power at three times what it was when Vegeta shouted it's over 8,000. Just to add to that, when Goku fought Frieza on Namek, he arrived to fight Frieza at the power level of 3 million according to the Daizenshu. The Daizenshu also had final form Frieza at 50% at 60 million. Goku amped up the Kaioken to 20 times against Frieza, which when calculated would put his power at 60 million, just like 50% 
final form Frieza. Now in this scene, Frieza is threatening Goku. He's only at 50% of his power. Goku thinks he's bluffing, but he isn't. And he finds this out when he does a full powered Kaioken times 20 Kamehameha. And despite being a little hurt, it doesn't beat Frieza. Even when Goku uses Blue Kaioken verse hit, Goku once again states that it multiplies Goku's power. I can 100% categorically say that the Kaioken multiplies your power. The Kaioken downplay needs to stop. So back to Vegeta. As mentioned before, Vegeta has exclaimed many times in the Universal Survival Arc alone that he will beat Goku and win this tournament of power. As said before, he made the claim after the Dragon Ball specials where he saw Goku attain Ultra Instinct. He made the claim when he went into the Room of Spirit and Time in episode 91. Now we know that Vegeta hasn't secretly unlocked Ultra Instinct. In episode 117, he was trying to achieve that form. And whilst many people will try to say that, well, he clearly doesn't have a power level as high as Ultra Instinct, which may still be the case, but I can ensure you that even Jiren would love to learn Ultra Instinct despite his superior power level. So would Beerus and even Kefla. Like all transformations in Dragon Ball, whatever power you have in your base, Ultra Instinct will only make you stronger. So Vegeta trying to learn Ultra Instinct in episode 117 doesn't rule out the possibility Vegeta is hiding power. Whether he is or not remains to be seen. In the future Trunks saga, we saw how strong Vegeta got upon entering the room of spirit and time, from getting bodied by Goku Black in his rose form, to bodying Goku Black in his rose form. Something Goku in Super Saiyan Blue alone could not achieve. Now he's entered that room of spirit and time again, and exclaimed he will beat Kakarot in the tournament of power. He is fully aware of the Kaioken. He gave a very in-depth explanation of the Kaioken when Goku unleashed Blue Kaioken against Hit. Now, in Super Saiyan Blue alone, for Vegeta to be stronger than Goku Blue Kaioken times 20, Vegeta's got to be around 20 times stronger as a Super Saiyan Blue than Goku is in Super Saiyan Blue. Even if he is only 20 times, his Super Saiyan Blue form would be better than Goku's Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20 because Kaioken causes their stamina burn on an already draining form. Around a month ago, I discussed the possibility of Vegeta acquiring Super Saiyan Blue 2 or even Super Saiyan Blue 3. I will link that video at the end screen so you can check it out. But we recently learned that the Super Saiyan Blue multiplier is very similar to the regular Super Saiyan multiplier of 50 times. So there's no reason to believe that the Super Saiyan 2 multiplier and Super Saiyan 3 multiplier in Super Saiyan Blue would be any different. So that will put Super Saiyan Blue 3 at 8 times more powerful than Super Saiyan Blue. Obviously, Goku can amp up the Kaioken to times 20 far surpassing eight times, rendering those transformations weaker than Blue Kaioken times 20. The only argument you could make is there is less stamina drain with those forms. So given that Vegeta doesn't know Ultra Instinct himself, it leaves him with three potential avenues to either increase his Super Saiyan Blue to an incredulous amount, or to chase the Super Saiyan Blue 2 and 3 transformations, or learn Kaioken for himself. Now, a lot of people are still under the impression that in the Saiyan Saga, in his fight with Goku, Vegeta exclaimed that he knew of similar techniques to the Kaioken. Unfortunately, guys, that was just a dub change. In the manga, he never made such claim. So, to our knowledge, there are no other variations of the Kaioken. Would Vegeta ask Goku or even King Kai to teach him the Kaioken? Well, we never saw him do it. I doubt he would have the chance to do it in the room of spirit and time. Despite being a completely different man to what he was in the Saiyan saga, he still has his pride and I don't see him ever asking Goku for help. Would he ask King Kai? Possibly. He did ask Whis for help. He pretty much begged Whis to train him. But this was because Goku had never gone down the route of training with Whis before, even though he did eventually. And the result was that he acquired the Super Saiyan God power on his own without the use of a ritual. It's very much in Vegeta's character to attain power by himself. If Vegeta did learn Kaioken in the Room of Spirit and Time, he more than likely learned it through repetitively seeing it and then learning it through his own methods. However, Vegeta's acumen as a fighting strategist has been stated many times to be better than that of Goku's. Kaioken drains stamina exceptionally quick. Goku even told Gohan in Krillin when first showing off 
Kyokin against Nappa, that if you control all the key in your body, the Kyokin will amplify your key for a heartbeat. Yes, that's short. Remember, guys, these guys fight at speeds massively faster than light. Even if Vegeta did attain the Kyokin technique and then amplified his blue power, which is stronger than Goku's, to that of 20 and somehow matched Jiren with that power, it would last for an insignificant amount of time. Whilst it gives you an incredible amount of power momentarily, ultimately in the long term, it is detrimental. I see Vegeta going more the way of Super Saiyan Blue 2 if he's going to go for a new transformation at all. The fact he still believes he's going to win the Tournament of Power, the fact that he believes he's the pinnacle of all Saiyans despite seeing Ultra Instinct Goku, suggests he is definitely still hiding power. What I want to know from you guys is what do you think Vegeta is hiding? Is it a transformation? Has he somehow learnt the Kaioken technique or learnt a move similar? Did the Elder Kai visit him in the Room of Spirit in Time to create Ultimate Vegeta? Or will we see Quaker Fury in Super Saiyan Blue? Or will he skip it all and go straight to Ultra Instinct? Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash that like button with the biggest Kamehameha you can muster. Do not forget to subscribe and remember one important message. Jiren doesn't go to the gym. The gym comes to Jiren. If you love talking about Dragon Ball on a daily basis, I promise you this channel is for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to get all the latest content as soon as it's released.